What's up, Wednesday, y'all? This is Aileen. Welcome to my kitchen. What up? And I know this ain't my kitchen, but I'm just showing y'all that. This is Wednesday morning at 10:19, and it is 19 degrees. And y'all, we left the house at 9:45, and roughly right 9:45, and it was 15 degrees because we had a late start today. The uh, daycare day services day. yeah the day services didn't open up until 10 so we had to have aunt here at by 10 or look 10 or a little after and it didn't take us about 20 minutes to get here did it but that okay. by the time we got her there it was about 20 minutes 20 25 minutes and then uh dropped her off and we're on our way and so since this is what's up wednesday what's up it's cold Yeah, people look and forgot how to drive on this stuff because I've been seeing videos and ticky talkies and uh, Facebook reels and YouTube videos and uh, all sorts of stuff on the interstates and everything. People just they need to stay off the roads and don't be expecting getting no deliveries anytime soon in certain areas because I can tell you I saw 20 30 trucks piled up on several interstates yeah there's a lot of that going on yeah shoot the last time we had weather this bad they didn't know how to drive that's been about 10 years yeah and there's been 10 years worth of youngins getting out there to getting taught by people that didn't know how to drive so they don't know how to drive even worse than they, yeah. they do so it's gotten a lot worse i'm saying y'all people in the south go crazy if there's half an inch of flurries or on, on the ground and you talking about sleet which was what we got we did get a few flurries but i think it was mostly sleet that we got yeah. and so everything iced over well when it comes to the ice you might as well forget it in the south people just don't know how to drive on it most don't know the only ones I've seen that know how to drive on it are those that have spent time up north and that uh, have maybe driven in foreign countries where there's a lot of ice. I can. I just don't like it. Yeah, I, I don't like driving on ice. I'll drive on snow every day of the week, but I won't drive on ice. I think about snow down here. Once it starts getting driven on, it turns to ice. Yeah. It, it, it's no longer snow. Once it gets slushy and it's cold enough, it turns into ice, no longer snow. But y'all, this is our first time out on the road since Friday. We, uh, we, we've been inside staying warm. Trying. Trying anyway. to stay warm, yeah. And, uh, it, it's a case of, we found out we were going to have to come out today. So Piggy got out last night, or yesterday afternoon started the car up had to bang on the car to get the doors unfroze and then uh i think he left the car running for about an hour or so just to get the ice off the windshield with the defrogger and stuff running better run for a long time yeah and yes i said defrogger not defogger better run for a long time this morning too yeah he went out this morning started it and let it run i thought i know he let it run for about an hour this morning before we left out right at an hour and it's still uh, the temp gauge still didn't get but a quarter of the way up yeah it runs at just under a middle halfway on the temp gauge yeah normal driving but after an hour it was still a, only a quarter of the way up uh, but yeah i mean it's just it, it's cold and i feel for all the y'all that got the 8, 10, 12 inches of snow. I feel for y'all that had the 30, uh, minus 30 degree weather and uh, anything below zero, I feel for you all. If it, if it got below the teens, most definitely fell for you. We got down to about 10. Yeah. And we got a couple more tens coming. But I tell that's you, that's bad enough. It, 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 this old girl's from the south. She don't like the cold. I, I was not born for cold. I was not made for cold. Don't want to have the cold. This old boy don't cotton to the cold too well. Yeah. 
I'll tell you, Pinky's done better this year on it than he has any other year that I've been with him. Yeah. And I think that's because he's finally getting his cold tolerance back a little bit after, what, 30 years? Almost 40. That's, that's sad. I got out in 88. Yeah. So it, that, that's, that's a long time, y'all. A long time. But, uh... I just want to do a quick little video on what's up with Wednesday, letting you know what's up with me and Piggy. We're okay. Doing good. But, uh, thanking God that all the sleet and snow has pretty much melted off and gone away. And that we can actually get out if we have to to do anything. We're going to have to go buy some gojis for the car. Of course, where we're headed right now. And go, we go might, Yeah, we might stop at the store up here and grab me a snack. I ain't had no snacks and other than what I've made myself. And I'm ready for some chips or some... Uh, She's ready for some junk. I'm ready for some junk food, y'all. I ain't had no junk food in a while. They want to wait till the last second to get over. Well, they want to go normal speed and just blow up when it's time to get over. Yeah. And then throw their blinker on after they bowed up. That's like, throw your blinker on and let me know you're bowing up. They didn't come with those models. Yeah. Uh, everybody, please keep Miss Susie Jacobson in your prayers today. Uh, she's having her second chemo treatment. And uh, as always, keep Mr. Scott and Miss Joy uh, in your prayers. Those who don't know them, that's Scott Swift and Joy Stewart Swift. Um, just keep them in your prayers and. I'm trying to thank everybody keep everybody in your prayers that's going through all this harsh winter weather because I mean there's some people I, I hate to say this y'all and I'm not trying to be ugly but there's some people that they know where they live that they're going to have this kind of stuff these cold temperatures and the snow and maybe the ice and the sleet but us people here in the south we don't get this very often and when I say the south I'm talking about the whole south I'm talking about Everybody that got all this stuff in Tennessee and Alabama and Texas well, I'll tell you and something. I, I saw one, one of them on a Facebook post or YouTube uh, video or something somewhere making comment down in Florida it's supposed to get about the mid twenties. Yeah. I'm like, Florida? Yeah, it's it's cold in Florida. Y'all we don't do well in the wintertime when it gets that cold. We 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 southern people, we 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 hot natured, which I don't like the hot either, but I like the air conditioning. No, you'd have to be hot natured yeah. to handle the cold. You gotta be cold natured to handle the heat. Well, I ain't neither. I'm kind of mid 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 tropics there, you know, or mid mid center or whatever, because I don't like the extreme cold. I don't like the extreme heat. Just you know, give me moderate temperatures, and I can be I'll be fine. Folks, give me Garden of Eden temps. I'll be good to go. <laughs> Most definitely. We're going to say goodbye on here and uh, say everybody out and have to do anything, especially if, you're, if you still got all this stuff going on. Stay safe. Stay warm. Bundle up. Goodbye. That means I can go into, into the uh, uh, Sha Na Na thing when they end the show. Good night. Good night. Bow, or, bow, 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 bow. Well, I ain't saying good night because it ain't good night because it's still mid morning. We ain't even afternoon yet. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, y'all.